Uh, Dow Jones futures up 31 point. Uh, the euro market is going strong, uh, so might as well just leave it like that, you know. Uh, DAX is up 43, you know, at 2.30. Uh, uh, FTSE up 24, uh, so uh, I'll leave it like that. At the moment, uh, I'm using a trading stop, so I don't really have to worry about, you know, stopping, you know. Uh, see, the market is going faster now because it's close to 3 o'clock. I'm going to close my contract here before the resistance. Order pending. Yeah, might as well sell it here. Order cancelled. Just make a thousand bucks, you know, and go. Or order filled. Order cancelled. So it should stick to the target 95. This is the um, reverse, which is the extension, for a nice extension to the retracement there. Should go up another 50% supposedly. Uh, we'll see what's happened. You should reach that point, you know, to the median line there. So I draw another two extended line there, and just to make sure that uh, even if it's retraced, you know, it won't go past our stop loss point here. If we're taking that two point and a falling point as a reference. It's got uh, four minutes to three o'clock. The reason why I keep checking on the time because you know uh, the market will go so volatile, and I'm worried about you know if that's just go past my my stop. I put myself at entry point here at two zero zero nine one. It's got two minutes to three o'clock. Another thirty seconds. That's a good sign, at least, you know, breaking the other structure again, you know, that structure there. Uh, not really. See that there? If they're using that line then, then that point is a reference, then it will go back down here. So uh, I've got. Uh, okay. Got another minute to three o'clock. So the market might just go reverse, you know, you never know. Let's set that back to the stop loss at 73 for my <laughs> Got another 10 seconds to three o'clock. Oh, now it's three o'clock. You see where's the mark where, where's the prize going? Either that side because Anything can happen, it might go reverse now. Now the new uh, stop loss is in here. So uh, see what's happened. If it's go up, then it's go up. It's actually got to the median line now. 
Let it run. Uh, let it run. Oh, Scott has, you know, one of them is uh, is it hit the the, the auto auto retra uh, auto auto trading stop, you know. Uh, have enough time to reset it, you know. Tough. So the client makes some money there, you know, uh, about like uh, not a lot, but it's 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 good. Let's see that the other count. Uh, can possibly do a put round here now because of this candlestick there. I'm going for a put here. Order order filled. The buy limit at this supporting level. So the profit so far, it's uh, nine nine nine. Uh, still got uh, one contract running. Yeah. That's the target. Go for the target a little bit. I'm going to set a cut loss here. Order pending. Just fill the order there. Uh, a good how many points. Uh, let's remove this order. Order cancelled. So it's uh, how much? How, how many points? There. To there. 25 points. Let's check the position there. The exit point is quite accurate, you know, because uh, it's up three bounds in here. In fact, I'm putting our tray around here somewhere. The red line is too late now. Next tray will be at uh, 4.55. 3.55. Uh, time now is... Uh, 329. Uh, just to prove that this is a real time trade, uh, you can have a look at uh, the index now 20122 and the real time uh, price for Hong Kong HS42 uh, at IG market. Uh, is there a clock around here? Uh, hold on. No. Look at Yahoo too. That's the live in that's the live index now. Uh, the underlining uh, XSI, yeah. Uh, see what there is a date, you know. Uh, not sure where's the date. Uh, let's go back to the screen. See that. Here's the real time clock of the of the uh, Hong Kong Observatory. As you can see, that's a good trader. If I can get an entry there just now, went past the uh, the supporting line there. So so far, exit uh, uh, exited order trade, you know, at a, a very good price, you know, up there, you know. Uh, see, uh, the price is going down. Uh, Hopefully, you know, it's climb a little bit, you know, then I can I can I can shorten another contract there at about like four o'clock. 
you look at a different view, this is pretty much like an uptrend as well, you know, uh, like a proper uptrend. So therefore, I, I cannot say whether, you know, today, you know, the price will go back down here because if you look at this, the, the whole chat uh, from, from, uh, from now clock, you know, till now, still pretty much like an uptrend, you know, all the way. So, uh, let's see, where, where's the target line? Oh. Possibly tomorrow might have a high open, you know, because uh, there are still some room to go out there. Uh, when you look at the uh, the MA, uh, it's still above that line there, you know, pretty strong. But a look at it today might finish hot instead of going to the green lines, uh, because you can look at the trend there. Look at a candle whip at the bottom, uh, this one and that one, and the resistance level there, it's all flat. And this candle whip is higher than the other, that candle whip, you know. Uh, that might finish high, it might finish wrong at, uh, I'm going to skip the trade at uh, 3.55 because uh, I cannot see there is a direction uh, of the finishing position because uh, it could be either here or there. So I, I, was, I, was, I was expecting it, it, it is it's going to finish at 2.081 early on, but I'm not sure now. Still cannot see a structure. Uh, there is some strong resistance at uh, 201.38. This is all I can see. If the MACD uh, it's sort of like adding up, you know, in here at this moment, then I will anticipate, you know, the price will reach uh, this green line. But at the moment, the price is within the center, uh, the, 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 the MACD is within the center, then, then I have no idea. Let's change it to RSI. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh. See the RSI is in the center. I've got no idea. We're using this line as a reference. Let me extend it. Unless it's actually go past this uh, channel, otherwise, otherwise it will stay in this channel. Time now is uh, 3.54, you know, the market should start going high fluctuate now, you know. Possibly, I mean, uh, time now is 14, uh, past 4. It's actually using this uh, supporting line as a reference so it doesn't get past this line so it's finished really close to this uh, the upper green line there so today finish at uh, 20128 mm, closer to the upper band yeah than the lower band thank you very much